In this presentation, we're going to talk about the S-Frame Solver Diagnostic Messages. In particular, about a message that S-Frame users find quite often when working with 2D finite elements. Message CO029. Element is of poor quality. This video is part of a series of videos that focuses on Solver Diagnostic Messages. If you are not familiar with this topic, we have a separate video with a proper introduction to this subject. We're going to study this model you see here, a wooden platform with support steel beams. Let's see. Here's our model. You may be already familiar with the properties I'm using for the steel beams and the wooden platform. So far for the wooden platform, I just need to mesh this panel I have created here. This is a shell mix mesh panel. And if I go to mesh, mesh panel elements, and click yes, I see this configuration. And my supervisor is interested in the contour results when applying a distributed load to the shell elements. If I go to the loads window, I see I have defined a distributed load. And using the uniform pressure tool, I'm going to apply a minus 15 kilonewtons per meter square in the global set direction. So I just need to click and drag over the wooden platform to apply this load to each one of my shells. And now I'm ready to run a linear static analysis. I notice a warning message, CO029, element is of poor quality. And this message is indicating that some of the triangular or quadrilateral elements in the model may have a shape that is undesirable for accurate analysis. This message is basically related to shell aspect ratios. And a shell aspect ratio is described as the ratio between the height of the triangle or quadrilateral versus its width. The presence of this message doesn't necessarily mean the 2D final element results will be poor, just that you should inspect your model for any elements with poor, large aspect ratios. Let's see this example, where there are elements showing poor aspect ratios and good aspect ratios. You can see that elements that are close to squares and equilateral triangles have a green check mark, and the long, narrow elements which are highlighted by the red arrows, may lead and give poor results. So if I go back to my model, then to the geometry, I can start by checking the model tolerance I'm using. I go to File, Integrity Checks. I'm using a model tolerance of 10, which is OK. And I can see why the software is showing this warning. You may see some long, narrow elements here and here which may be problematic and give poor results. I require to delete these elements. Since all of them are triangular, I just need to go to the triangular element tool. And by holding control on my keyboard, I just click and drag over the model. And to delete the generated nodes for those shells, I just need to go to the join tool, hold control, and drag my mouse. And this is the original configuration. Now I'm ready to try different mesh parameters. I go to the panel element tool and I can display my thickness. I'm using 100 millimeters. The mesh density I'm using is 4, seed density 10, and quad weight 7. We have a couple of separate videos that talk more about this topic, so please go and watch them. They're available in our YouTube channel. So I'm just going to specify the same thickness and change these mesh parameters. Maybe I can increase my mesh density, the seed density, I will decrease it to 2, and the quad weight, I'm just going to increase the presence of quadrilateral elements by 80%. And now ready, I can just assign these properties to my panel handle, which is right here. So I just click and drag over this to assign these properties I just defined. Now I'm ready to mesh, I'm going to mesh panel elements once again, click yes, and here's the configuration. Now I see quadrilateral and equilateral triangles, and I'm avoiding those long, narrow elements. Once again, I go into Analyze, running a linear static analysis. But I still get some message. It's pretty straightforward. No load for load case number four. If I go back, you guys remember I assigned a minus 15 kilonewton per meter square load to the shells, but I deleted those shells. Please always bear in mind that if you delete any members, you will need to reassign that load. 
This is quite easy. If I go to the loads window, I just need to select the uniform pressure load tool and the same load, the same load orientation, click and drag to assign it, and now it's assigned. And now I should be able to get results without any sober messages showing. Clean solution, go back into my results, start looking at the results of interest, such as contours, shear diagrams, actual forces, moments. What we learned today? Very long, narrow elements may give poor results. And when working with 2D final elements, they should be as close to squares and equilateral triangle as possible. Always check your model tolerance prior meshing. Each model is different and has different dimensions, so make sure the tolerance you're using is appropriate for your model. Meshing is an iterative process. Be sure and try different mesh parameters, such as different mesh densities, seed density, or quad weight percentage in case you are working with shell mix mesh panel, and remesh your model until you have accomplished the desired configuration and output. A dense mesh requires more, comput more computational time and memory from your computer. However, this will guarantee more accurate results. If you require leading your 2D final elements to improve the mesh, remember to reassign the loads like you saw in today's example.